All right, our first time using this incubator. Let's load it up and see how it does. All right, it's time to open up my new incubator. I got this um, Brinzia Ovation 56. It um, is supposed to be a really good brand. I've heard really good things about Brinzia. So we ordered this one and I got it for Christmas. And I'm gonna start incubating today. So we're gonna pop or open this up, pop everything out, see how it looks. And you guys just can come along with me. Um, yeah, here's, here we go. Ooh, hold on. It's upside down. All right. I guess English side up is the way you know how it's packaged. I just had it any old way. Let's see what we got here. Um, there's a little, it's just a, a brochure with all the other products in it. And then a caring for newly hatched chicks guide. And then there's the manual along with what is this? Oh, just like a thank you for buying that whole thing. Cool. So I get it record here. All right, let's see. So we did order this off of Amazon. I'm hoping that there's no faults in it. off here maybe no. oh that's easier okay comes with this big strap of tape and instead of cutting it it's easier to just pull it off. there we go that's easier okay and then it's in this bag I feel like there should have been maybe some bubble wrap on the top, um, but I mean, I guess they hopefully know what they're doing when it comes to packaging. Alright, so far it looks pretty good. I don't see any damage or anything, like all the plastic surfaces are pretty clean and whatnot. All right. 
Okay, we have, is that, oh, that's for, so the little, little tube for water. Is this just insulation? Like that seems weird that that's just sitting in there. This must be, oh, this must be for water. Um, obviously I'm going to read the instruction manual to make sure. But this looks like some kind of a water sponge. And then your egg trays have these little cardboard bits on them. And then this one's rubber banded. Down. Guessing that probably goes with this guy. And then, oh, there's a cardboard piece under here. So I should take all so after this, I read the instruction manual and that little cardboard mat is actually the hatching mat. So you can actually order more of them. So I'll use it the first time, but then I'll definitely replace it with like a silicone mat, something grippy. Cool. So I plan on putting um, a non slick surface down um, either some paper towels on the bottom and just cut it you know cut them to shape or I'm gonna put some of that like um, grippy mat stuff that you can put in the bottom of your like silverware drawers or things like that on the bottom here um, it looks like these fit here so that you have your water without your chicks getting into it. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to figure out what this is, but we'll read the manual. Future me jumping in. Just watch me struggle for a second. It's kind of comical, but I didn't see how it was set up, so I didn't understand how the egg turner was supposed to work. But I actually finally figured it out, and I felt pretty proud of myself. Oh, there we go. Look, these don't come up or down. One thing I've been told is to make sure that your lid is seated securely on the base because I know that I've heard people who don't get the lid on quite right and then they have issues obviously because all their heat in and moisture is getting out. Um, but there you go. There's the Brinzia Ovation 56. Um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping this hatch goes really well. Um, I'll show you our hatch video. Uh, we're getting geared up to get all these eggs set, hopefully today. And then I'll probably just put some spare eggs in my old incubator, even though it's worn out. But we'll see how it goes.
I just fired it up for the first time I switched the display over to Fahrenheit and it recommends to run it for an hour to make sure that everything is good and I've already sanitized the inside and all of the egg trays I sanitized so we'll let it run for an hour and then we'll get our eggs put in okay we're getting ready to load this up We'll see how many we can get it to hold, but we got all set up. It's got the automatic water pump system in it that just comes out to this little jar. And then these are my Bella Felder eggs. These are a Sapphire Gem hen with a Jersey Giant rooster. And these ones should be all olive acres, so this is a Moran hen with an Americana rooster. And we'll see how many we can get to fit. Okay, there we go. Um, each row is supposed to fit seven eggs. But these eggs are from a friend. And they are sapphire gems. And they're so big, I could only fit six on a couple of these rows with the biggest eggs. So I try to space them out with the biggest eggs together to try to... Put as many as I could in there but it's supposed to fit 56 but if your eggs are humongous then it's gonna fit a little less here's a little picture of the chick embryo development we ended up candling on day 7 day 14 and day 18 and it's important to keep track of your air cell when you candle so that way you know if you have too much humidity or if you have too low of humidity, you want those cells to be in that same orientation on those days. All right, it is day 18. We are taking the egg turners out and we should have baby chicks in three days. There he is, the first chick. This one should be a sapphire gem mother and I believe a Jersey giant father. So we'll have to see how they look. Technically, this is the night before day 21, but that's okay. It happens on every batch.
Man, so many chicky babies. Okay, so we are going to get the chicks that have hatched so far out of the brooder. There are a few that are pipping, but since I had a chick, a couple chicks born um, the night before hatch day, so today is day 21, and I had at least two, maybe three chicks born on day um, 20, just pretty late. I just want to make sure they're getting out and getting into the brooder so they can have some food and water. Um, we also have the old incubator right here with a few chicks in it. Um, they are starting to pip, but of course this is an older incubator so it doesn't stay at a temperature as well. There's two chicks in there and a couple more pips so they can stay in there a little bit longer. Trevor's going to help me transfer. He's going to get that lid off and then we'll get him in. Brooder set up right over there. Look at all the chicky babies! There's like two just barely. So let's hurry and get these guys over. Alright, there's the first batch right out of the brooder. So I got several different kinds here. There are some Bellefelders. There are some Olivegers. And there are some Sapphire Gem Jersey Giant Crosses. And there might be one Orpington chick in here, actually. Um, the eggs are the same color as the Jersey Giant um, Sapphire Gem Crosses. And so I might have accidentally put one in that brooder. Not a big deal. I know which one's which, though. I always like to start out on paper towels, too. Um, just so I can make sure that they're finding the food and water before they start eating wood chips. Because they will eat wood chips. This is the most chicks I've ever had at one time, but don't worry, some of these chicks are going to their new home today. Um, I hatched out a bunch for a friend, so I'll only leave me with the ones that I ordered, being the Bella Felder chicks, and then I'll sell any of the extras that I don't want so that we don't have an overcrowded brooder. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to put out a video separately from this one um, that talks about each one of these little chicken breeds um, just because this one's getting a little long. So um, stay tuned. We'll have more chick videos coming up. Um, and then I also have another batch in the incubator. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time.